Dr. Quinn, break it down first. You looked over this research, and what does it say? Well, just like a lot of my patients that may be addicted to cigarettes, and they may have emphysema, and I'll tell them, we need to stop smoking, but it's so hard for them. And then other patients that might be addicted to alcohol, they, they can't stop drinking, and, and they'll have liver damage, some even going into cirrhosis. It's so difficult. And what we do as physicians is we identify that this is an illness. They're not doing it because they're just bad people, but they are suffering with this illness. But what's being discovered in this research is some people that are extremely overweight, their health is being uh, compromised. They have heart disease, diabetes, uncontrolled kidney disease, and they keep eating the bad ultra processed foods. And this is like your, your pizza, your cookies, your honey buns, and all the potato chips and bad things. In some cases, up to over 10% of individuals there's nothing they can do because they're addicted and they need help and help is out there. Absolutely, help is out there and that's why you're here to help us explain this and break it down for us. What is being noticed as the cause for this addiction? Well, some of these ultra processed foods and these are foods like I spoke of earlier such as your honey buns, your potato chips, your uh, Reese's Pieces, a lot of that Halloween candy, a, a lot of these ultra foods, your fast foods, especially your, your cheeseburgers, your french fries, they're formulated in a laboratory. And what's happening is these manufacturers, they're putting a lot of greed in it, in my personal opinion, where they're making it so that these foods are specifically chemically formulated so they affect, affect our reward system. So when we eat these foods, we release dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter in our brains, and we feel better and we get like a high, but then it'll go down and then and then we want to get it again and we come up and a lot of people with anxiety depression isolation they'll be more likely to have these food addictions because they use these foods as a coping mechanism but what happens is a lot of our health is compromised so it's something we really need to look at so we don't have much time but real quickly dr quinn what can be done to help people with negatively impacted health suffering from the inability to resist these types of foods talk to your medical provider. There are medications out there, especially the GLP ones, the new class of weight loss medications, the Adipex and, and some others can trade. These medications can help to block that signal so that you can resist the food and get healthier. All right, grab that apple, balance it out. Thanks so much, Dr. Quinn, for your time.